we dig up her pink myrtle yesterday. We pulled it out with the truck and it's very hard. And um, so now there's like a whole bunch of dirt still stuck in here in the roots. I'm gonna try to dig all this out and see if I can separate this or if it's just one big solid chunk that I don't need to try to separate. And then we'll try to move it into the backyard and plant it back there. Make it a little bit lighter by getting all this hair down. Just scrape it all, scrape all this dirt off so we can get the middle and see the chunk from the bottom to see if we can separate it and make maybe two or three trees out of it instead of just one big one. Would that be cool? We gotta hurry up before it starts raining. Taking a rain break. It was not supposed to start raining until after lunch. Clearly they were off on their time estimates for the rain to arrive today. I was trying to spray off some of the dirt, but my water hose is like 10 feet too short. I don't feel like getting my other one from the backyard. But if the rain doesn't stop, we'll just have to wait until a couple of days. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Maybe it'll wash some of that dirt off and then we can look at it good. And see if there's a good spot we can divide it. Okay, so we've cleared off some of the mud and can't really see clearly through the bottom yet, but we rinsed off all the debris from the top and you can see that this thing is like one solid huge trunk. So I think what I'm going to do is trim off all these smaller ones just to try to get a little bit more weight off of it and then I'm not sure I might wait for my husband and try to lift this part and put it into my wheelbarrow and if we can get it pulled to the backyard maybe I really don't know um, I was just gonna cut it in half and then plant it and hope for the best, but it's solid. Like, I would have to cut through probably two feet from the top to the bottom of the roots, just solid. And <laughs> probably two feet the other way too. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go eat breakfast because I came out here first thing in the morning since it's supposed to rain after lunch. I wanted to get out here and try to get this cut in half so I could put it in the backyard and plant it before the rain comes. But I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that. I don't know. Maybe 
Maybe I'll bring my chainsaw out here and see what my husband thinks we can cut through it with that. So anyways, this is what it's like digging up a crepe myrtle and trying to transplant it. And I learned that it <laughs> it's quite a job. This thing was a lot bigger like up close than it looked from just my window to across the street. I feel kind of silly, but anyways. It's a lot heavier than it looks. Wish us luck. back outside now. We got dad to chainsaw our crepe myrtle into three beautiful pieces. So now we are gonna go to the back, dig a hole. Actually we gotta hook up Samson first and then take the fence down. Try to drag them into the backyard. Anyways, we're gonna hook up Samson, take the fence down, then try to drag all three of them to the back and then we can plant them. Hopefully before the rain comes. I don't know if you can see that. It's supposed to rain all afternoon, starting soon.
we're done. <laughs> Finally. Oh my goodness. They look pretty though. Hopefully they still uh, bloom this spring. We waited a tiny bit too long. You're supposed to do it before any of the buds are blooming or anything. They're just starting to open, so hopefully it won't shock it too much and they'll still bloom and flower this summer. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now we're gonna go inside and take showers because it's 3,000 degrees out here and super sunny when it was supposed to be raining and storming right now. But I'm not complaining too much because we got to finish our <laughs> trees. And now it'll rain tomorrow for sure and that'll be good, it'll water them all in. Anyways, see ya on our next project.